For the second straight year, the Monmouth baseball team has qualified for the conference tournament. I'm here with senior Steve Wilgus to get his look ahead as Monmouth prepares for this daunting task. And, and Steve, it, it's such a grind, these conference tournaments, double elimination. You start Wednesday at 3.30. Talk about what it's like going into the conference tournament now with you being a senior. It's exciting. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be on teams that we've made it uh, all four years that I've been a part of this team, whether it's the NEC or the, the uh, MAC. But um, we're excited to get started. Uh, really, it's, you know, obviously there's more of an emphasis on these games. They mean a lot, but, you know, we can't change our approach. Just got to play baseball. And you've seen all these teams that you'll be taking on. W what is the difference now going into postseason play compared to during the regular season? Obviously, the intensity is always high, but now knowing that it's a, such a shortened season, d does things change at all? I mean, you're going to get everybody's best shot, and that's the only difference. And, and if you start uh, trying to change things that you've done all year that's made you successful, you're going to struggle. And I think that's really the point of emphasis that we've placed on it. It's just they're just another game. It's important, but it's just another game. We have to do our play our game, and we'll be fine. Now as you go on and, and you play Wednesday at 3.30, you know, it, it almost seems from that first game, there's so many different scenarios. You could play later in the day. You could play the next day. But knowing all that, where is this team right now mentally heading up into the, the tournament up at Dutchess County Stadium? Yeah, we try not to get involved in all the, the scenarios and who we play. We know that we're, whoever the hottest team is in the tournament, we're going to have to play them. We're going to have to beat them to win. We don't care when we play them. We don't care, you know, uh, who we play. I mean, we just have to play one game at a time and see how far we can go. As we take a look now at Monmouth coming up in the conference tournament, Coach, you've been through so many of these league tournaments. You've been through them in different states, in different stadiums. Now as you prepare for year two in the MAC in this conference tournament, maybe what did you learn from last year's go around and now with your team this year? Well, six teams as opposed to four teams in the NEC um, previously. A little bit different format. Um, real quality field. You know, real, six very good teams. Six teams that have a chance to win. Um, any any team can win the table, uh, run the table. Um, you got to. It's the same thing with any tournament. You know, you got to pitch well. You got to be opportunistic. Um, everybody starts zero and zero. Teams get hot. Um, somebody could pop up that didn't contribute all year in the same fashion they do in the tournament. That's the beauty of the tournament. Last year's tournament down here at Lakewood saw a team on the lower side of that bracket, Sienna, go through and win the whole thing. You take on that Sienna team on Wednesday at 3.30. You've seen all the teams in this league, as you know, quality coaches, quality players. We'll talk about that matchup coming up on Wednesday against a team that you got a nice little rivalry with two years into the league. Yeah, I think, you know, as far as Sienna goes, they're a good team. They're very – they have some tradition, um, as do some other teams. we got to really worry about ourselves and – you know, worry about playing. Um, you know, there's a little bit of an unbalanced schedule with, with the teams not playing. We don't play every opponent in the league. So, you know, the standings are skewed to some regard based on, you know, the whole season. But, um, you know, Sienna finished above us. We played them uh, in a real good series recently, and uh, I'm sure it'll be a, another Mama Sienna game, and um, hopefully we can come out on the right side of the ledger. And Coach, final question. What are those few things that you need or you want to see from your team in this conference tournament? If they do these few things, they could be successful this coming weekend. Well, I think the first thing is to make sure that we're, we're building on everything we've done up to this point and we can, we can hit the tournament in a positive fashion. You know, we've, we've coached these guys for eight months to get to this point. And, um, you know, that's why we've done some of the things we've done in the fashion we've uh, taken care of things in that manner. But um, I think the things that we need to bring to the table are a lot of energy. We got to play really fundamental defense and, and be opportunistic pitching. Uh, I'm sorry, hitting. I think our pitching is fine, and um, you know, a couple two out hits here. We've had a lot of left on base this year, so we're looking to really, uh, you know, somebody give us a boost in that regard. All right, well, coach, we appreciate a few minutes of your preparation before you head up to Dutchess County Stadium. Good luck this week. Thanks, Eddie. It's the head coach of the Monmouth baseball program, Dean Ehalt. He leads his Hawks into the conference tournament up in Dutchess County Stadium. The fifth-seeded Hawks take on fourth-seeded Siena Wednesday at 3.30.